everyone. How are you? Let's see here. One goofy boy who was on holiday in Afghanistan before having his holiday cut short by the fall of Kabul and had to be evacuated with the help of the British SAS. I met said goofy boy to have a chat about how that all went down. It's Miles. Hey guys, how you doing? <laughs> <laughs> and as he did with everyone, he invited me, jokingly, to come back with him to Kabul one day. Unlike everyone else, I actually said yes. <laughs> Gender sensitive training. I mean, it's a, is it? I don't know. I wouldn't go to Kabul, but it seems like they're back to normal. Well. But before we get into that story, I'd like to mention two things which will give context to this state of Afghanistan before we went. During the Cold War, Afghanistan was invaded by the Soviet Union, trying to set up a puppet communist government to which the resistance came from in the form of the Mujahideen, or Holy Warriors, who were backed by the West, the Arabs, and the Chinese. Eventually, the Mujahideen won, and the country quickly fell into infighting between them. Eventually, the Taliban movement, from the biggest ethnic group, the Pashtuns, took control of most of the country, Pashtun. but was stuck in a war with a coalition against them. Okay, yeah, I don't really care. Firing shots at the US. Inverse Kramer. What's up, everybody? Christian, Leon, Kara, of course. Uh, I don't think the Credit Suisse... Uh, thing is a, a thing. There are always rumors about banks failing and shit like that. Um, let's see here. Um, short door dash. Haven't looked at dash yet, but I will. this uh cdk5 okay so this is another kinase um here's an inhibitor Look at this on PDB. Where's this again? For AU8. This is the protein database, which is the critical, uh, probably the most critical bio medical website there is, in my opinion. Here's the inhibitor, the putative inhibitor. Looks like a purine. Oh, that's a very bizarre thiophene. Right? Diophene and a sulfonamide here. Benzothiazole, thiophene, sulfonamide. A lot of sulfur for one compound, I'll tell you that. I would not want to put that. Well, I don't know, maybe. Too much sulfur. I'll, I'll, I'll take one sulfur atom in my in my drugs, but not three. Um, of course I use Pymol. But anyway, I've got every tool. It's actually really nice. Um, this tool is a lot better than it used to be. Yes, I, 
would buy the Hotelier's $2 million album. Yeah, we're going to work on a... We're going to research something here. All right, so here's... our sulfur buddy. Really interesting fit. We gotta look at like the gatekeeper residue and all that stuff, but I assume this is a reasonably good binding pocket. Shape rotating, literally. All right, let's see. I want to try 50,000 compounds. That's a pretty big screen. Probably want to make this a little more diverse. Rotatable bonds, what do you guys think? Yeah, I'm definitely getting the pharma industry ban overturned. Most complex drug I'm aware of, probably that crazy um, uh, Amgen's uh, oncovirus drug, oncolytic virus. I mean, that's pretty complicated. In terms of small molecule, um, actually, it's funny. I was I was looking at um, Eridulin last night, which is pretty pretty weird. It's uh, from the sea squirt, isolated from sea squirt, and obviously, you know, another one, one is paclitaxel. I mean, paclitaxel very hard to synthesize. Comes from the Pacific yew tree. Um, all the opioids are pretty unique and interesting. Um, that have the morpholino. What else? There's so many. What's up, Twitch? Just getting started on chatting with you guys, too. Pashtuns. Welcome all my Pashtun brothers. Did, should I date Giselle Bunchen? I don't think uh, I'm in her league. No, no offense to little old me.
All right, this is 50,000 compounds. I think I have enough money. This is a $500 screen. Let's see if I have enough money in the MetaMask. Speaking of which, Nick Vaughn can always bless my MetaMask. Clonazepam, what about it? It's a game. Since I touch crypto, it is generic. I can get anything I want. I've been a big dog. I'm not going to bet it all in one. Crypto market crash. Still got a million sitting in my middle mask. I took out my currency. Really sick. All this ETH I'm getting. What's going on in the UK? I gotta make my EpiPen song. Mementine for bipolar. I haven't heard that one. All right, money's gone. Just spent five hundred dollars on my own software. Yeah, I don't like real estate. I mean, I've said that a million times. <laughs> MS, a lot of MS drugs are generic now, but the new CD20s are not. They're very expensive. How rich are you, Martin? I really don't know. I don't really think about that kind of stuff anyway. When will this thing start? It's queued. Let's see if it goes. Crypto banger. All right, well, that spins up. Maybe I'll look at Alzheimer's. I have a little Alzheimer's file here. Um, I'm going to look at uh, amyloid beta specifically.
can put a couple hundred papers. Anybody good with regex? Or um, just uh, text parsing? Used to be pretty good at it. Let's see if I can flex my muscles post prison. Yeah, leave my hair alone. All right, so let's see, I would do equals if this is empty, right? Um, make it um, false. If not, make it true. Okay, and now equals if this is one, then concatenate um, this and this, right? Otherwise, don't do anything. Okay. Um, and then maybe it could be maybe I can nest it um, a few times equals if this and I'll do another if this is one then concat all three otherwise it's zero Otherwise, it's zero. Cool. And then I probably need one for four. So yet another if C4, right, is one, then concat um, no, it really should start at C3, right? Then it's if C5. Okay, otherwise, um, this is tricky. Probably leave it like this. Can't see that shit. Oh, my bad. feel stupid. Thanks for reminding me. All right, so we're doing a text concatenation. done this in a long time. Um, you can also do equals if left of C3 1 equals uh, nothing then 0 otherwise we do this if
Oh, it's left a B5. Trigeminal neuralgia, that definitely is a tough disease. I remember some people were trying to use oxytocin for it. Um, so I should probably make like a deep copy. I think it's what they call it. pretty good. Sometimes perfect is the enemy of good. Uh, I wonder if I didn't copy and paste it far enough, or did I? Looks like I did. gender-specific relationship between thigh muscle and fat mass and brain amyloid positivity. Wow. Somebody paid for that research. Treadmill exercise promotes E3 ubiquitin ligase to remove amyloid beta and P-tau, and improve cognitive ability. Treadmill exercise. I guess that's why we all need to exercise. Calciosin ameliorates advanced glycation end product, and my script removes a lot of spaces. Induced neurogenome changes in cellular and rat models of diabetes-related Alzheimer's disease. Ugh. Tanshinone 2A loaded Cheetosan nanoparticles decrease toxicity of beta amyloid peptide in C. elegans. Preclinical model to evaluate outcomes of amyloid cross toxicity in the rodent brain. These are all on um, GitHub.
Charisma PowerShell. GitHub as of right now. I like how this guy says, uh, credible with a business degree. If you think degrees confer credibility, uh, there's a lot to learn about the real world. Anyway, let's get Excel back up. All right. Hastes japonicus. Leaf extract inhibits Alzheimer's like uh, pathology through suppression of neuroinflammation. Eh. Exonal degeneration and amyloid pathology. Predict cognitive decline beyond cortical atrophy. H's as tools for therapeutic protein delivery to the CNS. Okay. Macromolecular crowding and supersaturation protect hemodialysis patients from the onset of dialysis-related amyloidosis. Interesting. Not Alzheimer's, but different amyloid. But... A deep learning model for the detection of Alzheimer's disease based on retinal photographs. Lucas Kurloyus, I shouldn't learn how to pronounce that. Catechol means link uh, neuroticism and vulnerability to tau pathology and aging. Locus Ceruleus, probably. Early death in a mouse model of Alzheimer's disease exacerbated by microglial loss of TAM receptor signaling. Hmm. That's pretty interesting, actually. Is 
This guy's got a great name for scientists, Cisternus. Shock-induced extracellular vesicles, these are pretty exciting new technology, derived from neural stem cells, confer marked neuroprotection against oxidative stress and amyloid beta cause neurotoxicity. Hmm. These ex extracellular vesicles could really be a breakthrough. Fast polarizable water model for atomistic simulations. Now this is interesting for me, this has nothing to do with amyloid, but this is interesting for me regardless for something else. Therapeutic nano sweepers promote beta amyloid remover, removal from the brain. Therapeutic nano sweepers sounds silly. Um, recent advances in small molecule near infrared fluorescence probes for targeted diagnosis of the Alzheimer disease. Diagnostic. C-terminal fragment of APP interacts with P62, forms an aggregate, and induces autophagic degradation Alzheimer's cell model. Ooh, that's exactly the kind of thing I'm curious about. Uh, amyloid beta PET scan results disclosure and care partner emotional well-being over time. Not something they care about. No offense to anybody going through that, of course. This is interesting. This is like a more of a, this is my friend Jesse Michaels would be interested in this. Gamma frequency inhibits the secretion and aggregation of amyloid beta and decreases the phosphorylation of mTOR and tau proteins in vitro. So... For any of you home gamers who don't know what the gamma frequency is, this is really interesting. Um, this is something that happens to you while you're asleep. So, um, you can uh, meditate or use neurostimulation to increase your gamma activity. Probably pretty meaningless, but still like very interesting that our brain goes through these different frequencies um, during sleep, and it may be why we sleep um, to go experience that frequency. So I'll show you what it sort of sounds like. Just listen to this for a little while. And you'll be good. Watch. Make a don't listen to this time income from YouTube without ever trying to grow your own channel. Listen to this. jokes aside, I used to do experiments, <laughs> regenerate me. I used to do experiments uh, with this kind of stuff. So if you use one ear, it's really interesting. So if you're trying to do, uh, let me fill black and paint and white. All right. 
So if you're trying to do uh, these are ears. And if you want to target, let's say, this gamma frequency, what's gamma? That Greek letter, right? And that's what, uh, 20 hertz? Thirty to eighty. Okay, so you say you're trying to target fifty. And what you can do is you can play four hundred hertz in this ear, which is a guitar on the guitar. It's the, the you know, it's the A tone. And you can play four fifty in this ear, and your brain will actually do the math and net out a fifty hertz tone. You have to do it a certain way, but it'll start to entrain on your at 50 hertz. So if you're at, let's say this is zero, and this is you know, 100, and let's say you're at like 10 hertz, and then you're listening to my tape that has 450 versus 400, and I could actually encode this in a rap song. I can encode this in any tape. It sounds better if I maybe do it in a, that kind of audio. Your brain will actually start to go up and meet the tone that it's hearing. How crazy is that? So I can artificially induce this gamma state in your brain by making you listen to that beat that we were just listening. So that's that frequency modulation. And you know, I just might do that to you to control your mind just, just to do it. But regardless. Um, so anyway, a lot of people wonder why we sleep. Science hasn't had a great answer for that. Um, and uh, what a lot of people have found is that we clear this amyloid beta while we sleep, which is a to sort of this toxin, complex toxin that is involved in Alzheimer's. And I don't you like to use that word toxin, but it really is a toxin. A toxin is a very vague and nonspecific word. Um, it sounds like it's a word that a lot of like shysters and charlatans use, unscientific people. Uh, but we don't understand a lot about amyloid beta, and I think that's the reason there's a lot of confusion with Biogen's um, recent positive results. Uh, anyway, so this is photooxygenation therapy. It doesn't sound too exciting. All right, CGRP is a potential autoantigen in type 1 diabetes. Couldn't care less. Molecular mechanisms of Alzheimer's disease from top to bottom. Could be an interesting review paper, but not really what I'm looking for. All right, aerobic exercise alleviates paraptosis-related diseases by regulating NLRP3 inflammasome. That's kind of interesting. I got to look at the NL. NLRP3 space at some point soon. I've ignored it for a while. All right. Uh, I should have made my script a little bit more sophisticated. I have to still do a lot of editing, but whatever. It's not that bad. Modulation of... Modulation of hepatic amyloid precursor protein and lipoprotein-related protein 1, I know this bad boy, LRP1, by chronic alcohol intake, potential link between liver steatosis and amyloid beta. Not too interesting, but whatever. Maruyama, okay. Uh, amyloid beta is internalized uh, via macropenocytosis, an HSPG and lipid raft dependent and RAC1 mediated process. Well, I'm not surprised it's internalized. I'd be curious which amino acid is the critical, no, it's, uh, let me actually, maybe I shouldn't talk about that publicly. Some things you guys don't need to know. All right. Irisin stimulates protective pathways, protective signaling pathways in rat hippocampal neurons. I don't know what irisin is. Sounds like an iris, like the part of your eye. All right. 
stronger implicit interference in cognitively healthy older participants with higher risk of Alzheimer's disease. What the heck is implicit interference? I, I've never heard of that. Let me see. When you don't know something, the smartest thing to do is say, I don't know, and I'm going to find out. Because there are a lot of things you don't know. And there's a lot of things I don't know. Implicit interference. Let's see. Interference in implicit memory appears to be a simple response competition phenomenon that occurs when cues simultaneously activate prime targets and primed competing responses. The amount of interference can be explained by quantitative model relative to strengths of target and competing responses. So this is a memory, uh, basically memory uh, error. Okay, not too interesting. Ah, here's a paper after my own heart, or at least it seems like it is. Synthesis and bioactivity evaluation of a novel 124 oxidiazole derivative in vitro and in 3XTG mice. But we have no idea what the mechanism is, so I'll we'll look at it, but probably a zero. All right, we've looked at 30 or so papers. Maybe one of them, this is maybe less interesting from a, my goal, maybe, but interesting anyway. You have one paper probably worth reading right away and a couple worth kind of glancing at. It's the nature of the beast here. Patient with corticobasal syndrome showing disease-associated biomarkers of dementia with Louis, Louis bodies, a Treviso Dementia Registry case report. Uh, okay. Intramolecular hydrogen transfer of compact molecules controls amyloid aggregation profiles. That is definitely what I'm interested in. It's interesting that it's in the ACS, JACS AU, which is the gold gold journal. Maybe minus one point for that. PMID, or no, it does, okay. This is a pain. Should have made a better script. It's not too late. I'm too lazy. All right, locomotor hyperactivity in the early stage Alzheimer's disease-like pathology of APP PS1. PS1 is presenilin mice associated with impaired polarization of astrocyte aquaporin 4. The aquaporins are interesting interesting proteins. They're actually water channels, as you can tell from their name, aquaporin. I had a nice PhD working for me that worked for the guy at Hopkins who discovered aquaporins and won the Nobel Prize. Speaking of which, I'm sure you guys saw the chemistry Nobel Prizes, including my favorite, Dr. Barry Sharpless. Congratulations, Dr. Sharpless has won his second Nobel Prize in chemistry. Pretty amazing accomplishment. Two Nobel Prizes for Dr. Sharpless. Another guy uh, I worked with worked uh, was a postdoc for Dr. Sharpless at Scripps. So I've had a couple of Nobel Prize cubs work for me. All right, let's look at this one. Discerning the role of blood-brain barrier dysfunction in Alzheimer's disease. Probably no role, but whatever. Nobody knows, I guess. All 
right. Uh, or abnormal CSF levels of amyloid and tau are associated with cognitive decline over time in cognitively normal older adults. Uh, monozygotic twin study. That's actually pretty interesting. And that's actually pretty good evidence for the amyloid hypothesis, which doesn't need any more evidence, in my opinion. It's not even a hypothesis anymore, in my opinion. It's a fact. Dual targeted magnetic mesoporous silica nanoparticles reduce brain amyloid beta burden via depolymerization and intestinal metabolism. Not uh, too exciting. Over time, you kind of learn what fake science looks like and what real science looks like. Part of it is also the journal. Theranostics is not a great journal. Uh, again, you can't, you have to look at it pretty holistically. Osteoporosis is associated with elevated baseline CSF biomarkers and accelerated brain structural atrophy among older people. Oh, what a long title. Is it krill oil? Uh, Antarctic. An Antarctic or Antarctic? I think it's Antarctic, right? Most people don't say it that way, though. Antarctic krill oil exhibited synergistic effects with nobiletin and theanine. Theanine is the, isn't that the T? Molecule in T. In ameliorating memory and cognitive deficiency in SAMP8 mice, applying the perspective of C-land combination to retard brain aging. <sighs> yeah, no. No thanks. Pyroptosis is a candidate therapeutic target for Alzheimer's disease. That I'm not surprised by and is pretty interesting to follow up on. Relationship between adult subventricular neurogenesis and AD. AD, of course, being Alzheimer's disease. Pathologic roles and therapeutic implications. So adult subventricular neurogenesis. Eh. Basically the the question of, for a lot of people is, do we keep making brain cells over time, or do we, all the brain cells we make, do we make them as um, children? And I think the answer is pretty clear that we do undergo neurogenesis throughout our lives. But I mean, some of us don't, maybe. I know I do. What do you guys think? Keep making brain cells? Sometimes I feel like I'm going backwards. I know Trashy maybe it keeps making brain cells. Uh, Long-term gamma transcranial alternating current stimulation improves the memory function of mice with Alzheimer's disease. Now, it's well known that transcranial stimulation improves function in general. Um, that's why I've got one of these, one of these USB ports right, right in the back of my head. I got a little... Um, I got a new Ledger Nano, by the way. I'm pretty excited about that. A little more secure, secure uh, system. Goat Simulator 3. What the heck? Any drug to cure AB? What's AB? AD? Alzheimer's disease? Trashy could plug the USB in. You're right. Prediction value of the genetic risk of type 2 diabetes on the amnestic 
mild cognitive impairment conversion to Alzheimer's disease. Completely useless. MicroRNA-145P inhibitor. Hmm. Attenuates memory in, huh, impairment induced by amyloid beta oligomer in vivo, possibly through PIN1 regulation. So I don't know what a microRNA inhibitor looks like, but I'm willing to learn. Immunodigital invasive cleavage assay for analyzing Alzheimer's amyloid beta bound extracellular vesicles. That's how you know uh, it's a good paper. The more high pitched my voice gets, hmm. that's like an okay paper. When I go, hmm, that's a really good paper. Huh. 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 All right. High clearance anti amyloid immunotherapies in Alzheimer's disease. Part one a meta analysis and review of efficacy, safety, and medical economical aspects. I don't need this, I don't think. All right, comparison of plasma and CSF biomarkers. in predicting cognitive decline. All right, increased type one interferon signaling. And brain endothelial barrier dysfunction in an experimental model of Alzheimer's disease. I think that's fairly well known that there's more interferon production in Alzheimer's, but no, what does Shkreli know? Longitudinal cognitive change and duration of Alzheimer's disease stages in relation to cognitive reserve. Cognitive reserve always struck me as a kind of bizarre idea. I don't like it. All right, uh, ex vivo expanded human regulatory T cells modify neuroinflammation in a preclinical model of Alzheimer's disease, so yeah, potential cell therapy, immunotherapy for Alzheimer's, kind of interesting. All right. Dramatic impacts on brain pathology, anxiety, and cognitive function in the knock-in APP NLGF mouse model of Alzheimer's disease following long-term voluntary exercise. Man, <laughs> fucking exercise. We should exercise. Man, why don't you exercise? Oh man, COVID. I didn't want to read about COVID. Gonna read about COVID. SARS CoV 2 spike protein S2 subunit modulates gamma secretase and enhances amyloid beta production in COVID 19 neuropathy. Great. Good to know. Love it. I doubt it. Fake news. All right, uh, spatial temporal patterns of beta amyloid accumulation, a subtype and stage inference model analysis. Now that's the kind of thing I'm looking for. All right, increment of CSF fractal kind positive microvesicles preceded the spatial memory impairment in amyloid beta neurotoxicity. Increment of CSF fractal kind. Okay. Maybe. 
this is my kind of thing. Characterization of the conformations of amyloid beta 42 in solution that may mediate its initial hydrophobic aggregation. JFIS can be. Now that's exactly what I'm looking for. The aqueous extract of Humulus japonicus. What is that? Humulus japonicus. Do you guys know? Humulus japonicus. Humulus japonicus. This is a flower of some kind, I believe. A plant, flower, Humulus japonicus. The Japanese hop, an ornamental plant in the family Cannabisea. Now, if you give Trashy the cat a little bit of Humulus japonicus, she'll go crazy. She'll roll around on the ground quite a bit. <laughs> this is uh, PubMed. Get your weight up, Shkreli. What? It's catnip. <laughs> Japanese. <laughs> it's that Japanese weed. All right. Uh, ameliorates cognitive dysfunction, Alzheimer's disease. There you go. There's the cure for Alzheimer's, that plant. Get the fuck out of here. Playing that. I'm not turning that to a medicine. You grind that shit up, put it in a pill. Cure Alzheimer's. Oh man. All you need to do is smoke. Just keep smoking. Pay big cannabis. Big tobacco. Fluorescent aptosensor based on conformational switch-induced hybridization for facile detection of beta amyloid oligomers. Therapeutic implications of GSK3 beta in am Alzheimer's disease, a novel therapeutic target. I would not say it's novel. People have looked at that for many years, my friend. This is a paper in Russian, therefore I explicitly will not read it. I am protesting. Role retuyo miomishka yaka etiology of pathogenesi Bulesnai porcancina e Alzheimera. Alzheimera. The role of mercury and arsenic in the etiology and pathogenesis of Parkinson's and Alzheimer's disease. There is no role. Sorry, Ruski. A flexible modeling approach for biomarker-based computation of absolute risk of Alzheimer's disease dementia. That would be nice to know, right? Targeted brain delivery of RVG29 modified rifampicin loaded nanoparticles for Alzheimer's disease treatment and diagnosis. Rifampicin? Come on. physical activity, memory function, and hippocampal volume in adults with Down syndrome. Down syndrome and Alzheimer's are very related because I believe the amyloid precursor protein is on 21st chromosome, which is triplicated in Down syndrome, also known as trisomy 21. All this stuff is coming back. I was in prison and forgot all this stuff. 
coming back quickly. My neural network's regenerating. All this useless knowledge. A temporal pattern of neuroinflammation associated with a low glycemic index diet in the 5x fad mouse model of AD. Periodontitis related salivary microbiota aggravates Alzheimer's disease via gut brain access crosstalk. There's this one company, Cortexime, that's been fueling this kind of research, and it's all fake. An adjustable amyloid beta oligomers APTA sensor based on the synergistic effect of self-enhanced metal organic gel, luminophore, and triple helix DNA system. This is like just a analytical system. All right, this is a really long title. It's going to take me a while to copy and paste it. Uh, relative hypercoagulopathy of the SARS-CoV-2 beta and delta variants when compared to the less severe Omicron variants is related to TEG parameters, the extent of fibrin amyloid microclots, and the severity of clinical illness. Wow, what a waste. Waste 20 of my seconds. I will never get back. I could spend those 20 seconds with my cat. Instead, I had to read that bullshit. I like that. Like that. Okay, nanoparticles and nanocolloidal carbon. Will they be the next anti diabetic class that targets fibrillation and aggregation of human amyloid, amyloid polypeptide and type 2 diabetes? Holy shit, what a bad idea. I want to give that a zero. Free gangliosides can alter amyloid beta aggregation. Okay, that's interesting. Actually, it makes quite a bit of sense. Gangliocide enriched phospholipid vesicles induce cooperative A beta oligomerization and membrane disruption. Transplantation of nasal olfactory mucosa mesenchymal stem cells benefits AD. If there's ever cell therapy for Alzheimer's disease, I'd be shocked. All right. Here's another electricity one. Electric field effect on inhibiting the cofibrillation co -fibrillation of amyloid peptides by modulating the aggregation pathway. Langmuir, which is an interesting, an interesting journal. MicroRNAs as a new target for Alzheimer's disease treatment. Okay, current nat naturopathy, naturopathy to combat Alzheimer's disease. No, I hate nat nature. I like my drugs synthetic. All right, microRNA 6683P regulates oxidative stress and cell damage induced by A beta 1242 by targeting the OXR P53 P21 axis. I don't know that axis of evil. Gavrilova. Russian, yeah, it's a Russian paper. Proteomic markers and early prediction of Alzheimer's disease. There's no good Russian research. 
shit is worthless. All right, effect of tau protein on mitochondrial functions. Another overly vague and useless Russian paper. I am really biased against Russians. I don't know why. I'm just patriotic. Injection of amyloid beta to lateral ventricle induces gut microbiota dysbiosis in association with inhibition of cholinergic anti-inflammatory pathways in Alzheimer's disease. Yeah, it's, it's kind of interesting. You can pop something in your brain, it'll change something in your stomach. That's pretty neat. This is a multiple sclerosis study. Uh. All right, Magnum's study group. Spinal cord lesions and brain gray matter atrophy independently predict clinical worsening in MS. Error-prone protein synthesis recapitulates early symptoms of Alzheimer's disease in aging mice. It's like cancer of the brain. Error-prone protein synthesis. All right, let's stop at 80. Sort of read 10% of the papers I've wanted to read. We haven't even gone back a month on amyloid beta research. How crazy is that? Fasting mimicking diet cycles reduce neuroinflammation to attenuate cognitive decline in Alzheimer's models. There you go, fast away. Cell data convincing me to fast. So healthy, so good for you. I mean, it probably is, but whatever. By the time the evidence exists, it's uh, too late. All right, we'll stop there for now. We're trying to get a sense for amyloid beta aggregation. Specifically, we're trying to think about the sort of like toxicokinetics of different amyloid beta species. And just understanding this little, almost peptide, right? Um, a little bit better. These are papers. Kick a freestyle, here we go. Listen. Me and my honeys, Karen, KDR, Lauren and Pluto. <laughs> so many beautiful women here today. This track, Charlemagne. Monk is being updated as we speak. Young Shkreli incoming for sure. 
No competition with cores. I'm hungry. Mm. Yeah, I'm kind of hungry. This is a sulfonamide. Sulfur double bond to two oxygens. S O O. Carbon here, S here, O O. I normally love sulfonamides. It's like my favorite functional group. Market crash, still got a milli sitting in my meta mask. My open sea got hacked. Going to the Met Gala? Damn. That's some first date. Oh yeah, I have this event to go to. Uh, you kind of have it's kind of dressy if you can swing by. It'd be fun. You can ban if you're a mod. It just says uh, instead of banning, it says hide. Uh, hide user on this channel. That's the euphemism for ban. What's a whiplash vehicle? Tank. Comment ça va? The fast car. Une agente qui ne le sait pas. I need a better skin, yeah. Crypto market crashed. Still got a milli sitting in my meta mask. Squirrels, what's good? I got two phones. Uh, no, I have food coming though. Oh, that's such a good song.
You did. Oh shit, he's fucking me up. Holy fuck. Alright. He's really fucking me up. Let me, uh, get healthy here. Whatever. I went down to the beach and saw Kiki. She was all like, eh, and I'm like, whatever. <laughs> Great song. Whatever it is. And this chick comes up to me and she's all like, Hey, aren't you that dude? I'm like, yeah, whatever. Hey! You and fucked me up. I'm, I'm at this pool hall and this girl comes up she's all like, Oh, yeah, whatever. Oh, whatever. I don't want to fuck with this guy. I love this song. Throwing dice in the alley, Officer Leroy comes up. He's like, "Hey, I thought I told you." Then up comes Zappo. Motherfucker. That's what you get. That's what you fucking get. Motherfucker. Motherfucker. Oh, god damn it, I keep fucking this up. Remember this song? Hey! See Spider-Man! Leave me the fuck alone! Oh shit! She's love, she's love, she's love, she might be 
guys are terrorizing me. Motherfucker. That's what you get playing with me. Play with me again. Now let me eat this apple. Delicious. And some corn, why not? What, what are these guys with these cars trying to run me over? This is nuts. Only legendary shit. That's what I do. You know what? I'm gonna use this. Keep all tabbing.
the fuck? The chicken just bit me? You piece of shit. I'll feed you. Feed you to this dog right here. Oh, this thing. That's gonna get me killed. Oh, oh, where is he? There he is. Oh, I see him too. Oh, these are 90s classics. Sing me back to high school. Cold blooded. Two minutes. 
What a great song for Fortnite. Let's fucking go! Danger. Oh, this fucking song. Oh, it was the radio on my Fortnite car. Oh. You wanna shoot at me? You wanna shoot at the king? Five bullets left, boys. No bullets left, boys. Gonna eat a lot of peaches. It's better have a gun in it. Holy shit. Oh, yeah. It does. To the country. Gonna eat a lot of peaches. So funky, the song, it makes me want to dance. Can you feel it? I think the only person dancing is trashy. I pick up her paws and dance like this. Millions of treats. That's her version. Sam and treats. Casually take this building down. Nineties. Any nineties kids out there? Just might say that today is the greatest. I'll be seeing the Smashing Pumpkins live in concert, Madison Square Garden. That's right, three weeks. I'm gonna have to say hi to Billy backstage.
Billy doesn't like to be bothered backstage, but in this case, maybe I'll make an exception. For his biggest fan, Martin Shkreli. Hey! Playing Fortnite with Billy Corgan. Lifelong dream. Mission accomplished. This whole building is on this little thing. Oh, no. Still got this corner. Oh, this guy wants to shoot. This guy wants to shoot. My G. Alright, time to die, buddy. Waste more bullets, please. Alright, now... You're going to get it. Oh, he got me. Oh, come on. That's what you get for fucking with my cars. You know how important it is to me? Fucking do this? Demol demolish these buildings? And you're trying to stop me? Are you fucking nuts? You gotta be stupid, bro. get a chance to really demolish? This is some bullshit. Oh, there's another guy. You see him? hit though. Get the fuck up out of here. Jump!
was Eve 6 here on Shkreli Radio. This might be my last game, and then I have to go do some conference calls. But it's not my state of mind. I might have to actually even go out for some dinner. Which I really don't want to, but, um, you know, you gotta work sometimes at night. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Good shot, good shot, you're, you're great. Keep aiming great. Fucking, you're on your way, buddy. You're on your way to League Finals, World Finals. You know, one day you'll be as good as me. Today's not the fucking day. Alright? Keep practicing, ya bish. Ya bish. Oh, I need to get that, uh, Kedrick song. Ya yeah, bitch, ya yeah, bitch. Ya yeah, bitch, ya yeah, bitch. Was it like Good Lad Mad City? Ya yeah, bitch, ya yeah, bitch. Oh yeah, let me get what's in that register. Give me that fucking, give me that money. Give me that money too, man. Eat that. It should just be dollars, you know, this gold thing is uh, very tacky. What am I trading forex here? Precious metals? Just give me the, give me some money, man. Dollars. I need that. I would smell my pride and shake Oh, there it is. There's my fucking... That one simple attachment turns my car into more than a fucking car. Uh, why is my gun stuck in there? at? Yeah. We'll need that gun shortly. Pretty sure this defies all known laws of physics. Although I'm willing to try it out in New York City one day. Look at that. Got all the goodies rained down. Now let's go to this building. All the goodies are mine. Oh, I even pick up the gold? Sick. Alright, next. Apparently it stops at the car. It can break a whole building, but not the car. If I broke the car, that would re 
really unrealistic. But this is cool. Makes sense, man. Oh, somebody's shooting me. That's nice. Bro, can you see I'm busy? Brad, brethren. My brethren. I'm busy. Doing my thing. Oh, no, Gunner! Get out of here, Wolfie. Nobody invited you. Told you not to come by, Wolfie. It's not a place for wolves. Doggos, doggies, or anyone associated with the canine species or taxonomy. Now keep following me. I'm not playing with you. One last time before I get out this car and shoot you. Alright, I need to collect the fruits of my labor. How is this still standing? Excuse me. What is this building standing on? Who the fuck has the nerve to shoot me after I just fucking totaled the entire Tilted Towers? Man, this is an art project, and you're in the way. Oh, and you think you can shoot me? Shoot my tires out and shit? Are you fucking nuts? going 70. What up? Woo! Flip that car, man. Back in. Oh, this motherfucker! He jumped the car. Impressive. And most impressive. these things never have any fuel. Oh, another one? Switch whips. That's what I do. I just switch the whip. Haters are gonna hate, because I switched the whip. Oh, I'm coming to get you, buddy. Good timing. Good jump. guy there. Oh, more bad guys. Oh, and he's got him. This shit is about to blow. Like a meth lab. Alright. Fuck 
out of here. You wanna fuck with me? Let's let's play. Think this is a game? I'm playing my fucking phone. Playing on my goddamn phone. Damn. He really did that. Annihilated me. Damn. Fun shotgun, huh? Alright, guys, that was fun. I will. See y'all very soon, alright? See you later. I'm out this bitch. Send him out this bitch.